Good night, Miss. No escucho. No escucho. Good morning. Hello. Hoy sí se escucha. Good night. Good night, guys. Y yo, good morning. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs> Y que usted, que usted, que usted está al otro lado del mundo, Rosita. Aquí en el usted, norte. Usted está en España. Y sí. We can hear you, teacher. Se escucha a los demás, teacher, pero usted. Can you hear me? Hi, sí. Yes. 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 Good evening, everyone. How are you, people? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Maria Emilia. We have Aaron. Welcome. Jessica, welcome. Rafael. Sochi. We have Gabriela. Welcome. Nevi. Welcome. Sandra Margarita. Brian. Welcome. Sandra Guadalupe. And we have Judy Edith. Welcome, everyone. Don't know if you have like a problem with the rain. Problemas con la lluvia. Hubo tormenta eléctrica. Yes. Está lloviendo horrible por acá. Se fue la energía como tres veces. Sí, ya, sí, vaya, sí, por favor. No energy. So it's very difficult. Terrible. Yeah, so terrible. In all El Salvador. Okay, remember that yesterday we worked with the yes, no questions, right? With the present continuous. Now we are going to watch the video about the yes, no questions. So let's check here. Right. Check it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous. No problem. No yes. problem. Problem. Okay. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. 
the verb to be is 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 she wearing boots and of course question mark at the end so let's try to make questions now I will give you the subject the verb plus some kind of compliment and you need to write the questions for example I'm gonna give you mention the subject will be you uh, the verb eat and in this case I'm gonna say dinner is the compliment so what I want you to do with that is to form a question so let's take the the, the, the verb to be is the one that we need to use so for the pronoun you I'm gonna say are the pronoun is you or the subject the verb is eat we need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form are you eating dinner it's the complement and of course add the question mark there so I'm gonna give you more and you should um, make these questions as I explain after you have finished go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums to watch the video now let's go ahead with some practice we are going to answer in this ones with some examples here but we have some questions we have the first one that is, is it raining now? We have about the weather, but with the present continues. So let me check in this picture. According to this picture, is it raining now in the picture? So that's affirmative or negative? Affirmative. affirmative. Excellent. Okay. Affirmative. Tell me the answer. Give me the answer, please. Yes. 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 Huh? Okay. It's raining. It. Uh -huh. You can say, yes, it's raining. It's rain, raining now. And that's good. Very good. This could be the correct right. form, but yeah. also the complete manner. Now, another form is to give a short answer. Like to say, yeah. 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 It is. That's it for a short answer. So that will be the man, right? Is it raining now? Yes, it's raining now. This is complete. This form from here is complete. But the short form, it will be yes, it is. Now let's check here. If we say in the next question, is she wearing jeans? And now we're talking about this woman. We're going to make bigger. Is she wearing jeans? <clears throat> affirmative or negative? Negative. It's Teacher, negative, right? Yes, tell me. En el caso de que solo digamos, yes, it is raining, y no, digamos, y no pronunciemos now, eh, está incorrecto. No, it's correct. The structure is correct. Mm -hmm. It's correct because in the question, you have the now. Como en la pregunta, ya tenemos ese now. De hecho, en la respuesta ya no es necesario repetirlo. No, ajá, no, no, ajá, no es necesario que lo, que lo tengamos que repetir. No, no, porque usted está afirmando. Ahora, es eh, incorrecto decir nada más. Yes, eh, for example, now. Pues ya sería como parte de, pedazos de. Es, la estructura sería incorrecta. Igual solo si se dice yes, it is, está correcto. Es correcto, solo que es la manera más corta de, de utilizarlo. De Abediada. hecho, ajá, uh -huh, yes, cor it's a short manner. De hecho, yes, <coughs> también, solo que pues suena un tanto muy informal, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Is it raining now? Yes, And that's it. Fuera. But yes, it is. Es corto y es formal. Es correcto utilizarlo así. Ahora, eso sería como la manera completa. Yes, okay. it's raining now. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome, my pleasure. So let's see the next one. What is the answer here? 
Is she wearing jeans? No, she isn't. Excellent job. That's nice. No, she isn't. Or no, she's not, right? That's another possibility. No, she's not. But because it's a short answer and it's negative, it's necessary to use contraction. Recordemos que acá, como si la respuesta es negativa y es corta, entonces la manera correcta es dar una contracción. That is the correct one. It's a contraction. Now, let's check the next part. We have another picture. The next one is, imagine that this is Canada and you ask the question, is it snowing in Canada? Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Affirmative. Affirmative, excellent, okay. Give me the answer. Yes. It is it is snowing now. All right. In Canada, right? Yes. It's snowing. In Canada. Okay. That will be complete answer. Esta sería la manera completa. ¿Cómo sería la Teacher. corta? Yes, tell me. Yes, yes. I have a I have a question. Tell me. Este in el caso de bueno. Obviamente creo que nos, todos nos hemos dado cuenta que en la, en las, ¿cómo se llama? En los teclados hemos tenido problemas con, mm -hmm. con ese apóstrofe. With the symbols, dos, right? Mm -hmm. Sí, hay dos tipos de apóstrofe. ¿Qué, ¿Qué sucede si en algún momento determinado nosotros, o sea, no ponemos eso? O sea, no utilizamos, no, no hay alguna regla que nos prohíba que utilicemos X o Y apóstrofe porque son bien diferentes los dos. Eh, una vez se los acepte a ustedes en la plataforma, no hay problema. Porque acepta esta forma de acá. Este, en el el recto. De... Ajá, ajá, esa como una comita. Sí, porque el que está arriba donde dice, en, en el que está, en el que está arriba donde dice, is, is she wearing jeans? Este, mm -hmm. donde hicimos la contracción, no she's, no she's isn't, este, está la, está la otra coma. Es como, una, es como una comita, el apóstrofe hacia arriba. Pero eso nunca va, no, va, no, no, no nos va a afectar en, en, en la escritura. No, no, de hecho no, porque es, es como una comita la que va ahí. Ahora, a veces, eh, por ejemplo, en la plataforma, no sé si han tenido como problema con eso. Ha dado error. En cuanto al, al apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Porque hay unos que los acepta y hay otros que no, que no los acepta. Mi, yes, tell me. En, en el caso, yo les explicaba a los compañeros la vez pasada que yo lo que había hecho era instalar el, el teclado el de, de Google, Google, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá, ese es el que lo acepta la, que les puede la, ayudar. la plataforma, porque el otro sí no lo acepta, sí, pero el de Google acepta. sí lo acepta. Uh -huh. Sí, eso lo no tener esa opción también, ¿verdad? Porque en los teléfonos también es bien diferente. La simbología puede, puede variar un tanto. So it depends okay. on that. Thank, dependiendo de thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Okay, so let's check this one. What is the short manner? ¿Cómo sería la manera eh, con, corta? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it, it is. is right. It is now. Yes? No, it's it not. It, 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 it will be short. Esta sería corta. Terminamos hasta el verb to be, porque ese es el verbo que se conjuga. Dice, yes, it is. That's it. Si quiere responder de manera completa, entonces tendría que hacer toda la información. Yes, it's snowing in Canada. Or short manner. Yes, it is. Ahora, recordemos aquí también, que en este punto, si la respuesta es corta y es afirmativa, entonces sí es incorrecto usar una contracción, la yes, it's. Yes, it's no. Por cuestión de que ir exactamente como se escribe, no, no, ah, no se puede. Completa. Escribir. Ajá, correct. No contraction. Pero si es negativa y es corta, entonces sí, es correcto. La gramática eh, permite utilizar una contracción. Solo cuestión de negativa se puede usar la contracción. Ajá. Es... No, no era afirmativo. 
Uh -huh, correct. What about this one? Are the people wearing coats in this picture? Are the people no. wearing coats? No, are. No. Coats. Remember what are coats? Guantes. Coats. Uh, coats. Abriga. Abriga. Abrigos. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. They have a special coats. Yes, they are. Ah, that's very good. Yes. Okay. They are. Yes, because they have that special clothing, right? To protect from the snow, from well, the cold. So, yes, they are. So, is it correct if I say, yes, they are? Like this. Is it correct? Teacher. This? Yes. Incorrect. Incorrect. Yeah, right, because it's affirmative. In the affirmative, you need to give complete. Yes, they are, no contraction. Who has a question? Brian. Brian, do you sí. have a question? Yes, tell me. Uh, pod podríamos decir, yes, they are using coat. Wearing. Wearing. We we wearing. Uh -huh, wearing. Yeah, that's coat. correct because... Because you are including the verb in its complete answer. That's correct. También te voy a dar pues la respuesta si es completa. Entonces incluimos toda la, ajá, una respuesta larga. Damos toda la información. Yes. Y acá pues si es completa, entonces puedo utilizar tanto contracción o sin contracción. Suppose that it with contraction. Yes, they're wearing coats. And that would be the affirmative case. So the two manners are correct to use here. Now, y en la larga sí se puede hacer. Ajá. Contraction or no contraction? Oh. That is correct, the two manners. Now let's repeat them. Emilia, read the first one, please. Is it raining now? Is it raining now? Is it raining now? It's raining now. Thank you. Nevi, answer please. Yes, it's raining now. Yes, it's raining now. Yes, it's raining now. Yes, it's raining now. Very good. Now, yes, it is. The other possibility. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. That's good. Rebecca, continue. Is it snowing in Canada? Is it snowing in Canada? Yes, it's snowing in Canada. Brian. Yes, it is. It's. Look, uh, yes, 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 it is snowing in Canada. In Canada. Thank you, Marisol. Continue the next one. Yes, it is. Marisol, are you present? No? Blanca? <laughs> Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right one. Gabriela, is she wearing jeans? Is she wearing jeans? Thank you. Kenya Vanessa? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she's not. No, she's not. Good one. Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue. Nebi, are the people wearing coats? 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 That's right. Good one. Juan Alberto, continue, please. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Very good. Sandra Margarita. Yes, they're wearing coats. Yes, they're wearing coats. 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 Coach. Very good, thank you. Okay, let's continue with more practice, more exercise. We have a question, then we have the answer, but we have some action verbs here. We have the verb walk, run, laugh, crawl, cry, read, sing, listen, pull, push, stand up, sit down, Think, smile, dance, watch, 
do exercise, eat, cook, throw, drink, study, and work. Let's formulate work. questions. Or yes, it's... questions with this one. For example, you have, are you running in the park? No, I'm not. So it's now you're going to formulate questions. Let's see, Sandra yes. Guadalupe, formulate another question, please. Select one verb. Vamos a seleccionar un verbo cada uno. Okay. Are you, are you reading? Are you reading? Are you reading? Mm -hmm. Okay, give us a compliment, please. Are you reading the book? Are you reading a poem? Are you reading in the book? Are you reading the say? book? The book. book. Pero the para book. decir, está leyendo una telenovela. Ah, okay. That one will be a novel. Novela. Novela. Teacher. Yes. Ay, no, no, novel. Si me escucho, no. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Ada? Ada? Hello. Adita creo que tiene problemas con la señal, mi. ¿Verdad que sí? Ajá, no, no, no se lo escucha. Sí. Let me see. Uh, sí, sé que está. Ajá, por votar. Perdón, mi. El teléfono me sacó de la reunión. Ok. <risa> es que por la, la tormenta que ha habido casi todo en, en todo el país ha sido eléctrica. No estoy pagando falla. Sí. Más que el mío ya está más para allá que para acá. <risa> <laughs> yes, there are problems. Aaron se le congeló la imagen. Aaron, can you listen to us? Nos puede escuchar. All right. Like, can you listen? Me escuchan bien. Yes. Sí. Yes, you can? Yes. yes. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue here. You said that one, right? You said, uh, are you reading a novel? Is what you asked, right? Brian, answer the question, please. Because the question was, are you reading a novel? Answer. So you can say uh, affirmative or negative. It's affirmative. Okay, go ahead, say it. Say affirmative. Yes, I reading. Uh-huh. Okay. Or yes, I am, right? You can give us your answer to yes, I am. Or yes, I am reading. Reading what? A novel. A novel. Very good job. That's nice. Okay, now let's see. Judy, you formulate a question for Aaron. Select a different different verb. Um Seria, are you studying? Mm -hmm. In the university. Very good job. Are you studying at the university? Excellent. That's great. Okay. Remember here, base form. Esa es la manera yes, más okay. correcta. Mencionamos la otra otra vez que a veces se ve en textos She is en cooking. algunos ejercicios que no lleva la y, pero lo uh -huh. más correcto es utilizar la y porque esa es la raíz del verbo. Y luego, okay. ahí, you say, are you studying at the university? So that's affirmative or negative? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Excellent, correct. Is it correct if I say like this? Um, okay, let's see. No, I am not. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Is is not correct la, in this de case? La, de la do, de la forma está what happened is that here you have a short answer and it's negative. Do you remember the short answers and they are negative? For example, here. Here we oh, mentioned yeah. that when you have a short answer and it's negative, it's necessary to give 
like a contraction, contraction, right? But that is negative. Now, in the case that um, I am using affirmative, you use complete. Yes? Yes. So, yes. what is the correct? No, I'm not, or no, I am not? No, no I'm not. not. No, I'm yeah, not. right, excellent. No, I'm so not. This one? Okay, good one. Aunque nos damos a entender, es, pues, es negativa, pero gramaticamente está incorrecta. It's only because it's contraction, porque es una contracción y la respuesta es con. All right, now let's continue. Let's see. Kenia Vanessa, formulate the question for Rafael. Rafael. Are you eating right now? Uh -huh. Are you eating right now? Are you eating right now? Uh -huh. Answer. What would be the answer? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, that's very good. Nice one. Okay, let's continue then. Gabriela, formulate the question for Sandra Guadalupe. Are she dancing? Is she? Is she dancing? Aha. Uh -huh. Right now? All right, that's good. Include a type of music. For example, is she dancing reggaeton? Is she re dancing a bachata, rock and roll? Cumbia. Give a compliment. Is she dancing? ¿Cómo fue que me dijo? You can say a, a type of music, like a reggaeton, a cumbia. Her hermano Flores. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Entonces sería okay. is But she mention dancing? the kind of music, like el, el tipo de música. If it's pop music, hasta bachata. Uh -huh. <laughs> is she dancing? A tap, me dijo. No, no, no. You mentioned like a, the type of music, el tipo de música. If it's cumbia, bachata, salsa. Is she dancing bachata. Okay, very good, thank you. Is she dancing bachata? Possible answer? No. Uh -huh. No? She is not. No, she's not, right? Because it's negative. Say, no, she is not. not. Is she is a punker. <laughs> a punker? <laughs> uh -huh. No, I know it. <laughs> she dances punk. <laughs> <laughs> Only punk, that's type of music. <laughs> so as you have that the answer is short and is negative, it's necessary to have a contraction here. Right? Not the complete manner, but contraction form. Okay, let's continue. Let's see, Nevi, you formulate the question to Sandra Margarita. <coughs> uh, bien. Uh... Are you cooking lasagna? Good. Are you cooking lasagna? No, I'm not. I'm sorry? Can you repeat? No, I'm not. Excellent job. That's good. No, I'm not. That's really good. Nice one. That's negative one. Nice. Rafael, formulate the question for Judy. Okay. Uh, are you listening to the class? Are you listening to the class? Are you listening to the class? Yes. Recordemos que los verbos van a ir acompañados de preposición. En el caso de listen, va a llevar to. Es listening to the class. All right. Answer. Yes. I am. Yes, I am. Excellent. 
It's affirmative, so I need to say it complete, right? I am. No contractions. Good. Blanca, formulate the question for Sochil. Este, puede ser, are you is listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Like, estás escuchando, right? That would be the question. Are you listening? What else? Are you listening to music? Are you listening to, a, you can say, to the program? Are you listening to rock music? A postcard? A postcard? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you repeat it, please? Are you listening to a postcard? Mm -hmm. Very good. Are you listening to a post? Uh huh. Let me see. All right. What will be the answer? Um. Uh. Me. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I am. Yes, I am. Very good, that's nice. Okay, we have a lot of possibilities here. Now that will be for pressing progressive. So let's remember that you have the exercise here in the platform. That's to check in these parts with the exercise. Now you have questions with pressing progressive? No, Miss. No, teacher. Okay, good one. No. Now, let's go ahead with the beginning of section five. Yo tengo una duda. Yes, tell me. ¿Qué significa pool? Pool. Pool is like this. Let me show you the picture. It's like, for example, when you are playing, como cuando uno está jugando. Um, ¿Alguna vez jugaron ustedes cuando eran niños con un saltacuerda y un grupo alando de un lado y el otro alando del otro? Para probar prueba, prueba, a ver quién se caía primero. Como en arranca cebolla. Como arranca cebolla, exactly. So you pull, that means alar. Alar. Diferente a push, que es empujar. Empujar. Exactly. It's the contrary action. You say push and pull. Empujar. Alar. So they are contrary actions. What about throw? What is throw? Tirar. Ajá, tirar, lanzar. Ajá, that's all right. What about como, crawl? Por ejemplo, Ajá. Así como el ejemplo que dio Adita. Gatear. But that was about swimming, right? She gave us an example with swimming. Ada nos dio un ejemplo con swimming. Is Nadar. she swimming? Yes. Nadando. Uh, ah, exactly. That, is she swimming in the pool? Está yo nadando en la, en la piscina? So that's with swimming. I'm sorry? Stand, stand up. Stand, stand up. up. Let me see if I have it, the picture here. This one. That means ponerse de pie, pararse. Uh, the contrary action, then sit down. For example, right now, to receive the class, everybody is sitting down. Todos están sentados ahorita. Like, to receive the class, right, is necessary. So they are is contrary. The yes. Right is montar, verdad? Montar, correct. This is in the case of bicycle, is in the case of motorcycle, horse, elephant. Scooter. So monta algo. Uh, uh -huh. in the case of scooter, uh -huh. porque no, no es algo que se maneja como el carro, ¿verdad? Por eso, en el caso de um, motocicleta, bicicleta, caballo, no se utiliza drive. I drive a motorcycle, no, I ride. I ride. En el caso de montar, entonces, de ride, eh, puede incluir también los patines. Ajá, uh -huh, because you ride them. You ride. Porque se montan. Pero en eso también se utiliza un verbo espe especial que es like uh, for example rollerblades 
Rollerblades. Este tiene su, su propia acción, su propio verbo. Patinar. Ajá, patinar en patines, pero también hay patinar en patineta, right? It's different. Okay. That is a skateboard. Okay. So you say skateboard, patinar en, andar en patineta, patineta, or rollerblade, que es andar en patines. So ella no, no es necesario utilizar el ride, porque ella tiene su propio verbo. Uh -huh. So you ride a horse, se monta un caballo, right? An elephant, un elefante, right? It's possible to ride an elephant too. Any other question, guys? Fight. 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 What do in the boxing? People who box as a sport, they fight. Luchar, pelear, pero no solo eh, pelear de, de dar golpes, sino también luchar en la vida, luchar por sus sueños. You fight for uh -huh. your dreams. Ajá. Entonces, luchar. For your life, for your dreams. Fight. Like, entonces, like, fight puede ser sinónimo de esforzarse. De, de esforzarse, correcto, en ese contexto, exacto. You fight. You fight for your dreams. Fight for your goals. Lucha por sus metas. So, yes, you can do that. It's like to make an effort. Hacer un esfuerzo. Es que se puede utilizar varios complementos con, esa, con ese fight. verbo. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. So, it can be abstract. Puede ser literal y también puede ser abstracto. So it can be in different manners. In the case of also of play, remember that play is not only with games. Play no solo es en el caso de juegos, sino también si nos referimos a tocar un instrumento musical. Puede ser play the piano, play the saxophone, play the harmonic, play the drums, the trumpet. But that's Guitar. to create, right? Create music. What up? Guitar. The guitar, uh -huh. you play the guitar. So, in this case, ya no se traduce, o sea, en el contexto no es jugar la guitarra, no es tocar la guitarra, crear música, sonido con eso. With musical instruments. So, there exists the two contexts here. Is it clear? ¿Se comprende? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Let's continue then. This is the final lesson. But first, we are going to pass the attendance list. So let me know if you are present. Miss. Yes, tell me. Tengo una duda. Hoy escuché una frase que era, I am here. Mm -hmm. Estoy aquí. Se puede. Yeah, sure. Where, for example, when they, they uh, ask you, hey, where are you? ¿Dónde estás? That's like in simple present, right? But it's a WH question. Where are you right now? I'm here. Aquí estoy. Or here I am. Estoy aquí. There is a song. I, uh, de hecho, hay una canción. No recuerdo quién es la banda que la canta. It's a here, here I am. It says, here I am, the one that you love. I don't remember what is the band. No recuerdo cuál es la banda. Pero sí, <laughs> said, here I am. I'm sorry? Se puede, le digo. Es, es yeah. permitido. Sure, you can say, here I am, or I am here. So, en lugar, de presente, yo le puedo, en lugar de presente, yo le puedo decir entonces, I am here. Yeah, sure, you can say, I'm uh -huh. here. I am here. Aquí estoy. Sí, ahí usted está expresando porque se encuentra presente. I'm present. Sí. También se puede decir, I'm present, estoy presente. I'm here. Sure, that is correct. Thank you, Miss. My pleasure. All right. Let's see. Let's check the list. Aaron. Present, Miss. Thank you. Ada Lisset. Yes, right. I think Ada... Ada is present. I don't know if you, she lost connection. No sé si perdió conexión a Alejandra Margarita. 
Alejandra Margarita. Ariel Alexandra. Ariel. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you very much. Brian René. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Douglas. Douglas Heriberto. Elmer Edenilson. Present. Elmer Ed yes, thank you. Fernando de Jesús. Fernando. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present me. Thank you so much. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn. Juan Alberto. Present me. Thank you so much. Kenya Vanessa. Kenya Vanessa. Not present. Maria Emilia. Maria Emilia. Thank you. Marisol Elizabeth. Present. Thank you very much. Nevi Solida. Present, Miss. You are there. Here I am. Thank you. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Rafael. Present. Thank you very much. Rebecca. Yo pensé que le iba a decir, I am here. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> to practice, right? <laughs> Rebecca Vanessa. Rebecca is not present. Sandra Guadalupe. Sandra Guadalupe. Me llamo. No, no. Sandra. Sandra Guadalupe. No. Present means. All ah, right. Thank you so much. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. So chill. Present. Thank you very much. And Judy Edith. Present. Thank you. Aquí estoy, lo siento, se me trabó la computadora. Ok, repeat your name, please. Rebeca. Rebeca, 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 Yes, you are here. Thank you Thank so much, you. Rebeca. Thank you very much. All right. Let's continue then. Yes, Rebe, you are there. <laughs> Let's continue then. All right. Let's here then with the final section. Now we are going to study about, we'll continue with present progressive, Miss, but now, yes, tell me. No sé si me puso falta, que me está fallando el inter, ah, me ha, okay. me ha Let me verify, please. Let me check. Let me see. Kenya. Okay. Now it's ready. Thank you, Kenya. What about you. Jocelyn? Are you there, Lord Jocelyn? You know Jocelyn? Elmer de Nilsson? Present. All right. Yes. Okay. What about Douglas? Douglas? Ariel Alexandra? And Alejandra Margarita? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's go ahead here. Okay. So I was mentioning here about, we are going to study now about the present progressive, but with the WH questions in this structure, but also with the time zones. As we need to remember about how to give the time or the specific hour in different places. And we have a question here. What are you doing? So tell me what is the correct answer? I'm playing football or I'm listening to music? I'm listening to music. I'm listening, I'm listening to music. I'm listening to music. Excellent. Okay. Let's check the next part. Let's observe here that we have a clock. Now, in this clock, we have the different manners that you can give the time. So this, if we have a clock, that means en punto. Then we have, if you have 
and menos, we know that every number represents five menos, right? So we have five, 10, we have 15, 15 or quarter, quarter, que sería un cuarto, en cuarto de hora. We have four represents 20, five represents 25, six, it represents 30 menos or half. Ese half significa medio, media hora. Then we have the number seven represents like a 35 or 25 too. Ya sea, así como en español, que decimos, ah, okay, son las 2 y 35, pero también podemos decir son 25 a las 3, por ejemplo, right? We have a specific. Estos acá que llevan esta preposición to es porque me faltan tantos minutos para llegar a la siguiente hora. So if you say 25 to 3, 25 a las 3. 25 to este, yes. y bueno, lo podemos hacer, digamos, por ejemplo, ahí está con el, a las 7. Y si queremos decir antes, digamos, que está en el 5, siempre se puede decir el sub. Ajá, porque faltan tantos minutos para la siguiente hora. Sí. So hay, hay varias maneras de, de poderlo, así como en español. Tiene como el mismo sí. contexto. O sea, tantos minutos para las o son tantos minutos pasadas las. It, so this one is two, right? Entonces eso de acá, desde el 25 a las tales horas, entonces se utiliza el two, porque faltan tantos minutos. Ah, del para... 7 a las 12, siempre se usaría el two. El two, ajá. Porque faltan tantos para las, esa preposición two me indica que hay un desplazamiento de, tan, de tal hora a la siguiente hora. Esto indica la preposición two. Pero también puedo utilizar, si hay tantos minutos, más, las. Ajá, ese pas significa que pasaron tantos minutos de la hora anterior. O sea, no es en punto, sino que ya me pasé tantos minutos. Five past, cinco minutos pasados hasta la hora. Es como, digamos, pasado y futuro, algo así. And if you say no, no, it's not like that, sino tantos minutos ya me pasé. Pero ese tú representa cuánto me faltan para llegar a la siguiente hora. Ajá, pero no lo vamos a expresar como a futuro, porque si no sería como otra estructura. O sea que si yo quisiera decir eh, que falta media hora para, para las siete, digamos, Ajá. sería... It can be 30, 30, 30 to, to five, por ejemplo. Or for example, right now, what time is it right now? ¿Qué hora es en este momento? What time is it right now? It's 9.50. Uh -huh. It's 9.50, exactly. So you can say this manner, se puede decir esta manera que es bien común, pero también puedo decir que faltan 10. Eh, a la 10, right? In that case, will be? It's 9.10. It's 9.10. To nice. 10. Oh. To 10. Oh, yeah. So if you say o'clock, quarter, 15 minutos, o un cuarto de hora. Half, media hora. Veamos otros ejemplos. Esto es solo para indicar cómo puedo utilizar tantos minutos para y tantos minutos que ya son pasados. But I have Miss. other examples. Now Miss. we have, yes, tell me. Si yo tengo las 6.35, mm -hmm. puedo tener entonces dos formas de, de expresar. Puede ser 25 to 7 o 635 pass. Mm, no, 635. Pero puedo decir también 35 past y la hora. Ah, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. 35. Porque hay una hora como exacta de decirla, pero hay otra como si quiero utilizar eso. Ah, tanto minuto pasada, tal es hora. Por ejemplo, acá, aquí hay unos. Ok, this one, este es el mismo que representábamos anteriormente. It's past or two. Now, let's check here. Uh, for example, two. This is o'clock, right? It's at time. It's two o'clock. ¿Se puede ver bien la diapositiva? ¿Se lee bien? Yes. Sí, miss. Ok, yes. good. Now, the other one, aquí ya nos pasamos. So, you can say, eh, cinco minutos pasadas las dos, o las dos y cinco. Listo. So, ajá. ¿Tell me? O sea que del, o sea que del, 
número uno al cinco, cuando hablamos de FATS, es que ya pasaron de la hora de la es que, ya de que se llegó pasó. la hora. Exacto, Ajá, ya se pasó de cuando tal hora. De, sí, ya me pasé de la, de la de la siete. Ajá. Cuando hablamos del 7 al 11, tú. Siempre va a llevar tú. Ajá, correcto. Porque faltan ah, tantos para. Porque es más práctico, ¿verdad? En lugar de decir, faltan 40 para, 40 minutos para las dos, pues no se utiliza eso, ¿verdad? <risa> <risa> faltan 50 para. <risa> All right now, right? So you can say, ah, okay, 55 It's minutes just... for 11. Yes. O sea que en este caso, lo que nosotros normalmente acá decimos, las 2 y 5, mm -hmm. o las 2 y 10, se estaría leyendo entonces como, it's 5 past 2. Ajá, 5 past 2. Correcto. Uh -huh. Correct. You can say that. 5 past 2, it's 5 past 2, pero hay otra manera también de decirlo. Puede decir, it's 2 o 5. 2 o 5. Recuerden que les mencionaba <coughs> cuando vimos los números, que... Eh, ¿Sí? especialmente en Norteamérica, ellos, en lugar de decir el número cero como tal, lo dicen como vocal, oh. pero ambas formas son válidos. Es una vocal, gramaticalmente no es correcto porque oh. no es un número, pero así se utiliza, it's 205, en lugar de decir it's 205, que de hecho se escucha raro, 205, no, no se escucha muy formal, escucha mejor, it's 205 or it's 5 past 2 2 y 5 o 5 pasadas las 2 así como lo usamos en español it has the, the same context, right? it's the same structure or we have 210 it's 10 past 2 porque son 10 minutos pasadas las 2 Sería, digamos, en el otro, en el otro sería it's two o, o ten. I'm sorry? En, en el otro, en la otra forma de decirlo sería it's two o ten. It's two ten. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O ten ya no lo lleva, porque ese ten, los dos están ocupando ese espacio. En, el, en cambio, de acá lleva un cero y el cinco. Ah, so, o sea que solo vamos a ocupar el 8. El en, el, en el caso de que no haya llegado al 10. Ajá, es 202, two, two oh incluso podría ser. O 201, oh si queremos ser así como bien exactos en dar la hora. A veces uno pues redondea y dice, ah, son dos, y a veces son las dos y dos. 201. Oh, oh, de las 10 para arriba, de 10 para arriba ya no lleva el O. Oh. Ya no lleva el O, oh. ajá, porque ya está ocupando ese espacio, ya no necesita el O, oh. ya no lleva un cero antes. Oh, okay. Ajá, no lleva un cero antes, sino que ya lo está ocupando de 10 en adelante. It's 2 eh, and 10, or it's 10 past 2. It's uh, quarter past 2. Quarter past 2. Esto es un cuarto, pasadas las dos, o las dos y cuarto. You can also say it's 2.15, como la manera más común de utilizarlo. 2.20, or it's 20 past 2, que de hecho en la plataforma les aparece que den dos, los dos tipos de respuestas. Sí, porque no deja pasar si solo va uno. Exacto, si solo es uno, no, porque también hay otra forma correcta. So you can say also it's 20 past 2. 20 pasadas las 2. 2.25. It's 25 past 2. You can say it's 2.30 or it's half past 2. Media hora pasadas las 2. It's 25 to 3 or it's 2.35. 2.40. It's 20 to 3. 2.45, it's quarter to three. Un cuarto para las tres. Aquí ya se lleva ese tú, es porque me faltan tantos para la siguiente hora. 2.50, or it's 10 to three. 2.55, it's five to three. So let's check here. When we say we use at, 
plus time, when you're given the time of a specific event, como cuando damos la hora de un evento en especial. And like if you ask, what time is your English class? Ah, my English class is at nine. Nine o'clock. Because it's a specific hour, right? It's an exact hour. Uh, another example here, the class starts at nine o'clock. The flight leaves at 10 to 3. So it's not exactly at 3, but it's missing 10 minutes to go to the hour, right? To the specific hour. We use it is or it's to answer a question that asks for the time right now. For example, what time is it? It is half past four. Four is four. 30, that's another occasion. Now, what's the time? That's another form you can ask. What's the time? It's 20 to five. So you have different manners here, like to use it in the manner. Now we can practice it. Tell me, for example, if I ask you, what time is it in New York? Maybe, what time is it in New York? According to the, the clock we have here. It's seven, it's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock in New York. Excellent. That's good. Judy and it. What time is it in London? It's 12 o'clock. Uh -huh. Excellent. Rebecca, continue. What time is it in Moscow? It's 12. Um... Are you sure? No, but make it bigger. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock, right? A veces las agujas se ven casi bien tamaño, right? That's the difficult thing, yes. So what time is it? It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock, yeah, that's correct. Brian, what time is it in Tokyo? Nine o'clock. Ah, okay, it's nine o'clock. All right, that's good. What about if we check? Me se uh -huh, there is a difference. Okay, now it's okay. Right? Thank you. All right, what about right now? Tell me, what time is it right now? It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock, all right. Now tell me what time what time um, is the class? What time is the class? Your it's English nine o'clock. It's at it's nine o'clock. At it's nine o'clock, right? Uh -huh. Like this, como cuando preguntamos eh, la hora específica de un evento. Ya no preguntamos como qué hora es, sino que a, a qué hora es tu clase. So you give a, an, a specific time of this. It's at nine o'clock. What time is your music class? Who has a music class? Alguien que tenga una clase de música? Somebody has a, a music class? Nobody has? It's nine o'clock. It's at? It's 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, okay. In the morning? Mm, no, in the morning, yes. In, in the, the morning. morning. Ah, okay, that's good. In uh, that uh, class? Sunday. Ah, it's on Sundays. It's specifically on that time. Yes, that is correct. Okay, nice one. Now, what time is it right now? Because now it's different. Gabriela, what time is it right now? It's 10 or 2. Excellent. That's correct. Look at that here. You're saying 10 or 2 because you have the zero, right? Or what would be the other option? Juan Alberto, what is the other option? Because she said it's, it's 10 past 2. No, it's 10 past 10. It's, it's 10. Oh, two, right? You say it's 10 or oh, two. 
So what's the other option? If La you want to use sería, pass. Ajá. Is to. Okay. Past tense. It's to past tense. That's correct. Because you pass like two minutes of that hour. It's to. Yes, pero yo, yo sigo con la duda existencial en las 6.35. At 6.35. Let's sí. check. Let's write it here. If you say it's 6.35, then it would be like this. Let me show you here. Si te robado, todo lo que robado, a su 35, we don't have 35. It's a 6.35. Yeah. It's a 6.35. Yeah. It's a 6.35. 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 Look at here. No, here we don't have a, a 35 or ah, okay, it's another one. But let's suppose that here we have it's let's eliminate this. Here. It's You said what time? You told me that it was six thirty-five, right? Day thirty-five, sí. Okay, so if we have this time, right? Thirty-five. We can have two manners. You can write it like this: it's six, six, two, thirty-five. It's six thirty-five. What's another option? It's 25 to mm -hmm. 7. Ah, that's good. It's 25 to 7. Correct. Uh -huh. Porque faltan 25 para las 7. O son las 6 y 35. Ahora acá. Ajá. Ajá. Y ahí, ahí es la duda que yo tengo. Si también podría mm -hmm. usar is 35 past 6. Sí, la verdad que sí se puede. Solo que no es como muy lógico porque ya son muchos minutos faltando. Entonces, <risa> lo, más, ¿ah? lo más común es util utilizar como ah, faltan tantos minutos para llegar. Lo que falta para la, la siguiente hora. Ajá, porque ya faltan menos minutos. O Exacto. decirlo como una manera también como de decirlo. It's 6.35. <coughs> so it's the two manners. Pero así como mencionábamos que faltan 40 para las 11, por ejemplo. Ajá, <risa> uh -huh. estoy 35, sí. para, o sea, sí se puede, se puede utilizar, pero no es común utilizarlo, porque puedo utilizar realmente. Ajá. Porque generalmente se utiliza como la menor cantidad de minutos para que llegue a la siguiente hora. Bueno. Ya me quedó claro. You Gracias. Yes. My pleasure. Yeah, tell me. En el caso de que la palabra o'clock, entonces esa mm -hmm. es en punto, ¿verdad? Exact time. Mm -hmm. It's exact time. For example, in your English class, it starts at night o'clock. So it's exact time. Or you say also sharp. De una manera eh, común también de utilizarla es sharp. Es en punto. O como cuando decimos al filo de tal hora. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sharp or o'clock. Sharp. Eh, ¿Qué significa? Sharp, sharp. En punto. Solo en que punto. son sinónimos. Sharp. Pero sharp es un poquito más informal. Es como cuando utilizamos en, en español que decimos al filo de la una de la tarde. So it's exact time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sharp. Sharp. Uh -huh. Correct. It's sharp. It's nine sharp. It's five p.m. sharp. Like, como para es como más informal. Es un tanto más informal, sí, sí. Any other question? All right, we'll continue tomorrow then, practicing with the time. 
Yes. Have a beautiful night, guys. Thank me. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a happy night. Bye. 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 dreams. Take care. Take care. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, What's your question? Mañana sería la, la última clase. And no, on Friday. Uh, El I see the eye. Oh, no, it's a Friday. <laughs> ah, okay, it's okay. a Friday. Ah, o sea que, eh, eh, ajá, este viernes sería la última clase. Pero fíjense que de hecho, como hubo la, la clase que se nos cortó por la, la energía, eh, dijeron de Instagram porque ellos iban a reprogramar esa clase. Entonces, pero ellos les van a informar a ustedes. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pero nosotros, nosotros terminaríamos completos el, el módulo el día viernes, ¿verdad, Ticha? Sí. Mm -hmm. Porque, con, bueno, esa clase que, que les menciono, ¿verdad? Que no, no se pudo tener completa por el, el apagón este. Entonces, sí, hay que recuperar esa clase. Pero si ellos les notificarían, este va a ser el lunes o el martes. Todavía no, no me han confirmado nada a ellos. Porque, pues, nos falta material todavía. Después de que terminemos este módulo, este... Ellos nos notificarían cuando empezaríamos el otro. Exacto, ajá, ellos notifican. Se escucha como interferencia, ¿verdad? María Emilia, casi no la escuchamos. ¿Y si será que hace falta de un módulo a otro? ¿O es consecutivo? Fíjese que, ajá, eso no nos han notificado todavía. Supongo que ya esta semana, ¿verdad? Nos notificarían. Con exactitud. ¿Y a dónde podemos empieza? mandar la petición para que usted sea la teacher del módulo 2? For me, it's a pleasure, but... <risa> Vamos a abrir un sindicato para, para, que, para, que, nos, para que nos escuchen. Ay, ya rompe el strike. It will be a pleasure. Sería un placer para mí continuar con ustedes. A ver qué tal. Ay, no, la verdad es que, la verdad es que pues, yo le agradezco por toda la paciencia que nos ha tenido. Creo que no, a veces my pues, pleasure. Desde, con gusto, desde un principio pues tuvimos muchos, muchas dudas, muchas, eh, mucha incertidumbre, pero poco a poco creo que fuimos perdiendo ese miedo con usted, así que Ah, okay. Yo en lo personal le agradezco mucho, mi nombre de mis compañeros, le agradezco por todo oh, lo que nos ha, ha, ha enseñado. Yo les agradezco mucho a ustedes por su dedicación, su esfuerzo y que participan, son, como ya les había mencionado, que son un equipo, no son un grupo, son un equipo porque la verdad que se colaboran, se ayudan entre todos y eso pues, ¿verdad? No es solo la clase, sino que ustedes también armonizan <ríe> y eso pues es muy bueno, uno pues interactúa, ¿verdad? Con los demás, aprende cosas. No, no, no se deja de aprender todos los días, aprendemos algo nuevo. Así es. Entonces, sí, ojalá que no la, no la tolondre yo a usted con tanta pregunta. No, de... no, don't worry. No, para eso estamos acá. Yo con gusto, con gusto. Gracias, Cada gracias. Cada vez que ustedes necesitan, pues estoy a la disposición de poderles apoyar. Thank you, Miss. So here I am. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss. Have sweet dreams. We'll see you tomorrow, you. right? See you. Sweet Happy dreams. night. Sweet dreams. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. guys. Take care. Bye. Care. Good, Good night. night. Good, care. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Bye.